The last thing I want to talk about in terms of professional features is how to edit your waiting room to optimize your workflow for your practice. Uh, one thing that's really frustrating to me is when a place doesn't have a great workflow. So I just had a doctor's appointment the other day and they sent me an 18 page intake form. This intake form, uh, they were like, please fill it out ahead of time. And that way you, you know, save time when you're in the office. And I was like, great. I downloaded the, the PDF file and it wasn't editable. I couldn't type in this 18 page uh, intake form. And also I, you know, I don't have a printer. I feel like a lot of us don't have access to printers anymore. So I couldn't print it. I couldn't type in it and email it back to them. So I had to go early to my appointment. Once I got there, I filled out the paperwork. I gave it back to the, to the receptionist and uh, the receptionist couldn't read my handwriting in a few different spots. So I had to explain it to her and tell her and then she would type it in and I had to do that like three or four times. And the whole thing was really cumbersome. So I wanna teach you right now how to optimize your, your waiting room to make sure that you're just implementing workflows that work for your practice. And I'm gonna do it by showing you my custom waiting room. Um, and again, you can customize your waiting room to have anything that you want in it. We also have all these other workflows that you see up on your screen, like your waiting room link is always live, invites via text message, email and calendar that are all HIPAA compliant, using a room passcode. I'm not gonna go over any of those. Please just use the handout to click on the links to pull up help articles and they will explain specifically those different workflows. So again, I'm not taking the time to do it during this session today, uh, but download the handouts to make sure that you have access to it. So with editing your waiting room, I'm gonna go back to my screen that I was sharing. And my client's still sharing their screen in this scenario. So I'm actually going ahead and I'm gonna click stop sharing. I'm, I'm on a call right now, so I can't see my waiting room. So in order for me to go back to my waiting room while I'm on a call, or I like this, like sometimes like during an intake session, I start a, start a call with a client and I say, hey, have you had a chance to fill out my intake paperwork or download my mandatory disclosure statement or take a look at my private practice policies? And if my client says, no, I haven't, instead of you know doing file transfer and do anything like that, what I do is I say, okay, well, why don't you go back to my waiting room and uh, you know fill out that intake form and then when you're done, why don't you, why don't you just message me in the chat? So right here, instead of hanging up on the, on the client, I don't wanna hang up on the client. I wanna put push the pause button and this pause button sends the client back to the waiting room and allows you to go back to your dashboard. So I'm gonna click on that pause button really quickly. And now I see that my client is still up here in the left-hand corner of the screen. And if I go to my client view, I can see that my client still has access to my waiting room. Now, like I said, your waiting room is fully customizable. So here's my waiting room. I give my clients a little bit of instructions to do the pre-call test, uh, to take, uh, make sure that they're taking the call from a quiet space, and then you know, do some mindfulness to kind of get themselves centered before a session. And then I also say, if this is your first session, complete your intake paperwork. Anything that you type in here can be linked to any resource that you have available. So my intake forms are actually on a Google form. And so I have it just linked to my Google form and then they can complete it at their leisure. To edit your waiting room, you're gonna, be up, you're gonna wanna again, log in from your provider view. I'm gonna mute myself and I'm gonna turn my camera off. And then you're gonna, you're gonna click on this tile that says edit waiting room. From here, you can add multiple sections by clicking on a plus button like this. And so you can see I have three blocks of text and then I also have a video down here. Anytime you click on the plus button, it's gonna ask you what you want to add. So I wanna add a text, I wanna add an image, or I wanna add a video. So in the case of you know, optimizing your workflow, you can add any text that you want to take your client to anywhere you want them to go. So if I want my clients to go to my intake form, I might type in intake form, and then I'm gonna highlight that. When I highlight it, there's this little button that comes up that says link. If I go ahead and I click on this button that says link, it asks me where does that, where do you want the client to go when they click on that link? Well, for, you know, for 
I don't have a, a great resource right now, but you would put wherever you want your client to go. So you would link your intake form if it's a Google form or if it's a PDF file that you have saved on your Google Drive. And we can go over this at a later time in another webinar. But uh, the, in this case, I'm just gonna put in google.com. So if I want this to take them to google.com, then that's, that's all I have them do. And then now all they have to do is click on intake form and it will take them directly to where, where I want them to go. I'm gonna delete this block just cause I don't want that on my, my, uh, you know, my actual waiting room. And then always when, anytime you make a change on your waiting room, always click save or it won't be reflected. So this is how you optimize your waiting room to make sure that you have resources available for your clients to make your life easier for intake sessions or for future appointments, or you could put handouts and resources here. Um, so maybe after a session you can put, you know, I, I was talking to a provider yesterday who was going to put uh, client testimonials. If they wanted to leave an anonymous testimonial, they could click on that link so that, uh, you know, they can get some feedback. Anything that you want can be put into your waiting room. So that is really a great way to optimize a workflow for you.